Hey, it's Mike from the Logan and the Hobo RV Adventure channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, weight distribution hitches, especially, well specifically weight distribution hitches with sway control and uh, controversial topic, whether or not you should grease it. Logan and the Hobo. So I've heard this question asked a lot of times on the on forums or when I've talked about what I do a lot of times on forums I get a lot of pushback and it's about um, certain types of weight uh, distribution hitches have sway control built in and it's called friction sway control and I personally I grease mine now mine is an equalizer brand uh, weight, dis weight distribution hitch with four point sway control and in the manual it says to grease the head of the hitch and so um, that's that's without question right there you should definitely grease the head of the hitch some guys think you shouldn't because it diminishes the sway control um, and I just I don't agree with it the friction that it makes uh, is from the downward pressure of the spring bars on the L brackets it's not really the friction from a piece of metal rubbing back and forth on another piece of metal as a matter of fact and I'm not a engineer or a structural engineer or anything like that but I would say that no engineer would design anything to be metal on metal friction if it was uh, you know like to stop something from from moving or, or if that was the sway control mechanism that just bare metal on bare metal that just doesn't make any sense to me and so not only do I grease the head of the weight distribution hitch I also drink uh, grease the L brackets where the spring bars sit on the L brackets and I guess before I go any further, we should talk uh, specifically about what the individual pieces I'm talking about are. So on uh, the weight distribution hitch, it has the hitch and within the hitch, it has a socket on each side. And in that socket, uh, you put the spring arm. The spring arm is like a three and a half, four foot long steel uh, rod or what have you. And then that rod sits on an L bracket. The L bracket is bolted to the tongue of the trailer. And so the downward pressure of those spring rods sitting on those L brackets is really what's giving you your sway control. And they call it friction sway control and it, and it might involve friction, but it's really that downward, massive downward pressure that's uh, sitting on your L brackets. And it's not just the L brackets rubbing back and forth on those, or excuse me, the spring bars rubbing back and forth on those L brackets. And I know this is a super controversial topic and I've, I've got it on the forums. Every time I bring this up on the forums, I get somebody that posts back in all caps, never, grease your friction sway control you know something like it's friction duh you know exclamation point or something like that and uh, listen the reason I grease mine is because I don't want to be super noisy when I'm towing especially when I'm making tight turns coming into the campground I want the hitch to be quiet and if you don't grease it if you don't do something it's gonna be loud it's gonna be creaky uh, equalizer brand does sell sway bracket jackets I think they're called which are plastic covers that slide over the L brackets and that reduces the noise they make. And I think that just furthers my point that you don't need that metal on metal friction from the spring bar sitting on the L brackets in order to control the sway because Equalizer itself even sells the plastic jackets that go on there. And I don't want you to think uh, by me saying that I grease the, the hitch because I don't want it to be loud, that I'm sacrificing the safety of it for just, uh, you know, not being noisy. That's, that's not it. It's not that I'm anti-safety. I'm all about safety. As a matter of fact, I'm sergeant safety. Uh, in this situation, I'm telling you that the safety is not compromised. So to settle the argument on the forum, which can't be settled, it's, a, it's an ongoing, uh, never-ending conversation every time that I post about it and I post the evidence that I have, it just, people aren't convinced. And so I emailed Equalizer, I emailed customer support at Equalizer, and I asked them the question, I said, does it compromise the friction sway control if you grease, and I specifically said if you grease the L brackets on the Equalizer hitch? And they emailed me back and what they said was it does marginally reduce the friction sway control of the hitch but it doesn't reduce it in any meaningful way like it doesn't affect the performance of the device really at all they said and it's in the email uh, they said that the reason they recommend not to grease the uh, L brackets is because it's messy and that's it and it's not that they say not to grease the L brackets they, they don't say that you shall not or you, sh you even you should not grease the L brackets they recommend not to. Um, they're not saying you can't, they're just recommending that you shouldn't. And when I asked for clarification, they said you shouldn't because it's messy. All right, so whether you agree with me or disagree with me, you know, ultimately, ultimately it's up to you, do what you want. 
I grease everything on the hitch because like I said, I want it to be quiet. I don't want it to be creaking around. And I've been towing like uh, for four years with it like that. I've never never had an issue even when I was towing with a uh, half ton F-150. Um, no sway issues at all. The trailer was solid back there. So yeah, I mean, like anything else, it's, it's up to you. Do what you want. I know this is a controversial topic, but I just wanted to give uh, my two cents. And uh, yeah, so that's what I do. Anyway, enough about the uh, lube and stuff. I'm gonna leave you now with some uh, some camping footage. realize my hitch uh, that I'm showing you is a little bit dirty, a little bit dusty. Um, you should probably keep it cleaner than I keep mine and maybe I should hit it with some uh, touch-up paint or something like that. Maybe that'll be a project for the future. The, the main reason I wanted to grease the hitch is to keep the noise down and then also help preserve the metal. But if you've towed with a, a four-point sway control hitch that's not greased, uh, you know what kind of noise I'm talking about or maybe you heard somebody else that's super loud just creaking, creaking and popping as they're coming into the campground. So I don't want to be that guy. That's what I'm trying to avoid. And uh, the type of grease I use, I use the Equalizer brand uh, hitch grease. And I almost forgot I wanted to show you some backyard footage. We finally got the backyard all finished. So here it is. All right, that wraps it up for this episode of the Logan and the Hobo RV Adventure Channel Show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please give me the thumbs up. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. It just helps me kind of swim in the, the YouTube and the Google algorithm a little bit better. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.